Assalamu alaikum. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all after a sunny day. Hope you all are doing well. Me, Batul Akhtar, welcome you all on the behalf of Project Management Learning Hub. It's my honor to welcome you all for exclusive presence on second webinar of PMLH webinar series. Ladies and gentlemen, Project Management Learning Hub is a non-profit organization with an aim to educate students and professionals interested in pursuing their career in project management and education management. Without any further delay, let me introduce our worthy guest, speaker of today, webinar, Muhammad Mawuzia. Mr. Mawis have completed his master in project management and currently associated with Be Positive Production as director. He is a global youth leader, 2019. It is a proud moment for us that we have a silver medalist with us who achieved this award in global project competition at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. There will be a question and answer session at the end of the webinar. May I request all the participants to secure their questions and queries for the session. The recorded version of this webinar shall be included on PMLH YouTube channel. All the participants are requested to subscribe our channel on YouTube. The link is available in chat box. You may also follow our social media platform like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter pages to remain update, updated about our latest and upcoming events. Mr. Mavis, with your kind permission, the floor is handed over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let, kindly allow me to share my screen. Okay, so here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, so my screen is clear to you? Batul, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Everything okay. Okay, uh, we are good to go, right? Okay, G. Uh, first of all, thank you so much, uh, Batul, for the kind words. And uh, thank you, Mr. Imran and uh, PMLH uh, for this kind opportunity to present my own experience uh, on community development and project management. So uh, without any further delay, I would like to start uh, with the basic topic that what we are going to do today. Uh, the topic, as Batul discussed, is uh, uh, project management, a better approach for community development. So there are two key keywords today project management and community development. So basically we are going to dissect these two topics today further, further, and then we'll see how these both are integrated and links, uh, linked together. Okay, so first of all, uh, a little introduction about me. Uh, I'm Muhammad Mawiz Zia. You can uh, check my LinkedIn profile as well. I'm MS in project management. Other than that, I have a research experience as a research paper. I've published some conference papers. Uh, other than that, I have published a book chapter and my subject areas of publication are project management, business model innovation, lean startup approaches. And I have an international exposure of, uh, I have presented Pakistan and I was lucky enough to present Pakistan uh, on two global youth leader summits, one in Hong Kong and one in China. And that, that there was another fortunate thing that I was a silver medalist in an international uh, project competition, which was basically on social innovation for the quality education. So uh, as Batul discussed, I'm the founding director of Be Positive Production. Under this, this organization, I have worked with multiple uh, national government and private organizations, which includes uh, Chenab College Senior, Government of Punjab, our district administration, our school education department, Now Foundation. Uh, we have the Citizen Foundation, and then we have Cookness. All of, all of these are some NGOs, some private organizations and some government institutions. Okay, without any further delay, I'll give a short introduction about the organization that what Be Positive Productions is. 
ओके अभी पॉजिटिव प्रोडक्शन इज बेसिकली यूथ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्किंग फॉर द बेटरमेंट ऑफ सोसाइटी अवेयरनेस एंड द कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स वी हैव टू पोर्टफोलियोस वन इज अवेयरनेस आवर अवेयरनेस टूल इज बेसिकली थिएटर्स एंड शॉर्ट फिल्म्स एंड आवर द बेसिक टूल फॉर द चेंज इन द मार्केट इन द सोसाइटी इज आवर कम्युनिटी डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स आई हैव रिटन सिक्स प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑल ऑफ फ्रॉम 60 प्रोजेक्ट्स एजुकेशन फॉर एवरी चाइल्ड रहनुमाई शफकत स्लिप 20 यू आर द वन रेप 18 elc 21 okay so uh, i'll just give a short introduction of uh, what is education for every child and what these projects were all about uh, the focus of the organization is education and poverty alleviation so education for every child was a basic project of education for the student the summer camp uh, in a rural area of punjab rehnumai shafkat was an activity based learning project for the students living in a city where i live chenior and then we have a project you are the one you are the one was the project under the uh, district education officer district education authority chenior it was basically career counseling project uh, for the, the i mean for the matric students of the government schools the public schools right and uh, under this project we were able i was able to mentor almost 3500 to 4000 students in just one project then there is slip 20 second language improvement program 2020 is its complete form second language improvement program was basic a language program an english language program for the uh, students of orphanage we were on the rep 18 then that was also an educational project then we have elc elc is basically english language competition for the whole district chenior Uh, which was conducted for the metric and middle level students under the supervision of deputy commissioner chenior you can follow us on any of the platforms on social media or you can if you want any details about it i'll not discuss lot of about my organization because that's not a topic uh, we you, you can i mean catch up uh, with us with my team uh, through this contact number and through this platform okay there are few glimpses of my projects first of all this is an healthcare project then this is an education project i was talking about the slip 20 and then we have these theaters these were both of were was one was one was for the terrorism and one was for the unity faith and discipline topic so all of these theaters were awareness to, uh, awareness uh, for the for the awareness of the society then we have some short films here are some posters and some pictures of the okay so uh, without any further delay i'll move forward for okay uh mr name a uh, very beautifully described project in in the last webinar so i am not going to discuss it in very detail we know that project is the one which is which has a specific cost which have a specific scope which have a specific time right time is um, is missing at i so yes this is time time scope and cost whenever a thing a, a specific thing is having a specific cost specific time to uh I mean, to incur and a specific cost, a specific budget, and a specific scope that what we are going to do, that is basically a project. Okay, together we grow as a community. Can someone please describe this for me? Any one of you. what does this mean we feel a family in everyone is important in our community no one is uh, wrong and no one is uh, as a you can say ki koi bhi aise nahi equality equality exactly thank you we got we, we must get the chance equal to grow in our economy in our community in our society as a welfare state and as a, as a part of our okay so what is community development there are many multiple names of community development few people say this is for the welfare of the people few people say this is for the few people say this is the helping the needy and some say that upbringing and empowerment of the society so all of these terms are basically used for the community development 
if we dissect the pro, if we dissect the words community development what it is community is where do we live it is a specific specific term for uh, used for society uh, for for the people we live in and then we have development what is development development is the procedure of developing something and what we need to develop the community is already developed right so why do we call it community development community development is a concept which means that there are a few lacks there are a few gaps there are a few things which are left empty because of many problems at times at the pro at times because of the government or the policy level other than that because of some economic crisis and specifically uh, being from the people like we uh, the, from the third world country or from the developing countries we have a lot of opportunities to do this why is that so uh, i hope that few of you have also have studied entrepreneurship or management entrepreneurship says that whenever you have whenever you have a threat you have an opportunity and we are lucky enough that we have a lot of threats and weaknesses right so we have a lot of opportunities so people who say we don't have opportunity they are just giving the lame excuses because we have a lot of opportunities in our society we can one department you can pick one department and you can do thousand projects and you can start millions initiatives on just that only one and only that one specific subject this is what community development is important for us why because of welfare of the people so that we can empower and upbuilding of a society and then so that we can help our needy people what kind of organizations are working in the community development i'll specifically uh, explain a few of the types and then i'll specifically explain a few organizations uh, working in the pakistan what is ngos national non government organization also known as npos non profit organization right we have few ngos working there association a great organization usaid i ingo undp as an ingo they are all of them are working in pakistan on multiple aims on multiple scope they have multiple uh, multiple markets they have multiple projects going on at the present time in pakistan then we have government government is one of the main pillar needs to community development but because of the resources or maybe the constitutional gap they are they were not to but yes they are the part of this community development uh, community you can say so police is also a part of our government and community development process betul mal and social welfare department that is a specific department made for the social welfare and there are many people there are many uh, bureaucrats there are many government servers who are working on this specific betul mal and social welfare. department and this department is specifically made for the development of the society for the development of the community and then we have a sas program which has initially uh, which has basically initiated a few years ago in the uh, new government for the development of the society and for the development of the community then we have corporations and social enterprises any one of you who can please explain how uh, corporations are working for the community development any one of you like i have also written a few examples pepsi and nestle any one of you who wants to share i think i'm talking to my laptop <laughs> how corporations are helping in the community development why i have written them over here any one of you you have to be very active because i have a few activities for you in the coming slide so be active you have time okay so uh, pepsi and nestle these are just two examples working as a corporation 
who are uh, working on that community development as well. How? Pepsi and Nestle are basically profit organization. They are profitable organization. They are working on their business models. They are earning. They are working on their own. They are working for their own profits. But they have some responsibility. They have some specific departments who are basically working for the department uh, for the development of the community. For example, there were a few initiatives started by. Uh, you must have uh, seen hundred million smiles, smiles by Pepsi, smile with Pepsi. What are those? They are not only ads. They are basically a complete community development projects which are basically conducted by the the corporations. Nestle. Nestle was working for the eco-friendly bottles and for to to eliminate uh, the pollution. from the market so these corporations are also working on their behalf for the development of the community for the development of the society for the social welfare then there is social enterprise what is a social enterprise and how is this different than the business the multiple different there are two types of entrepreneurship if you have studied entrepreneurship you must have known about it there is first is entrepreneurship which is a business like you start your own organization and you have to earn you have to uh, start with the users you have to think that i'm going to uh, sell some furniture to the market and i have to uh, start up for example launch a mobile phone company or anything that is an entrepreneurship thing what is a social entrepreneurship social entrepreneurship is a basically concept which basically works on the gaps in the society but they are not ngos and npos they earn profit but their main aim is not profit. their main aim is the betterment of the society their main aim is to work on those gaps to work to work on those loopholes in the market along with that they are earning for the specific for that specific service for example there is an organization who is working for the educational training in the market so they basically they basically brought an idea a gap in the uh, in the market that we don't have the teachers trainers the tuts the trainers of the trainers right the training of the trainers we train the trainers so teachers are already the trainers so maybe an organization found a gap that they we don't have some trainers for the trainers so an organization is established and they started working on the training of the teachers for example they started working on the activity based learning training for example they started working for the uh, training of the ecs the early childhood right so they can earn from that specific idea but the main purpose of that organization would be to help the community to help the institution to help the students to develop their human resources right then human service organizations human service organizations are basically organizations which are working for the service of humans we can see it from the name right pmi the project management institute basically name such organizations who are working for the community for community development label them as human service organization i will request the host to please share with you the uh, pmi document they will share you a link with you in which you can study an article on how project management is involved in human human service organization that is the pmi article so you can uh, review it we have an edi foundation in pakistan we have read foundation edi foundation every one of uh, you know what edi foundation is doing and read foundation also an amazing organization and amazing human service organization who is working for the education in the northern areas of pakistan they started working after the earthquake of pakistan and they are still i mean they are they are teaching millions and millions of students in pakistan then community development and individuals you me and everyone like how how can i or how can you work for the community this is my question for now any one of you who wants to answer please raise your hands and you can 
open up your mic to speak how can you help to develop the community any one of you can i look at the names of the people wait for that okay let me check the list of the participants okay so yes you can uh, participate uh, as if we have any skill we can uh, teach the others okay yes and uh, if we have to ability to help any other uh, poor ones we also participate in this way hmm quite impressive quite impressive quite impressive this is the thing this is our responsibility we have something in chat as well i think so no there are the yes, links we have can put the question in chat also okay so uh how individuals can work on okay that is a shocking number uh the people who who will be working in the market would say the number is very less and few people will say the number is very much 1 lakh 50000 auction active ngos are working in our country and that is the report of pakistan center of philanthropy right but this is a shocking thing you are going to read now no one knows how many ngos are functioning in pakistan a pcp spokesperson pcp means pakistan center of philanthropy the organization the center who is floating this number this the number of ngos active ngos is saying that no one knows how many ngos are functioning in pakistan a pcp spokesperson tells the herald herald is an is a sub branch of dawn basically this is an online article you can also search it the pcp article no one really has an idea of the size of the non profit sector so just imagine in a country we live on the government side on in a sector of the organization in the uh, in the government no one knows that how many organizations are exactly working in our country this is not i am not saying this this is the pa pakistan center of philanthropy is saying this so what is the problem actually because the focus of governments and the focus of the organizations are not bended towards the ngos and non profit sectors because everywhere we see whenever we see that uh, we have to work to, to develop the economy we have to develop the market we have to develop the special economic zones we have to empower the society on one side we say that we have to develop a welfare state and on the other side in that welfare state we don't have a specific number of how many organizations are exactly working in the our country in our pakistan so there is a very uh, funny example of uh, my own interaction with the deputy director of social welfare uh, who was working in chinyot i was discussing with her that how many organization ngos are basically actively working in the city Uh, i i hope that few of people you know about chinyu chinyu is a very small city so that is a very i mean we don't have a lot of businesses as well so we have a very limited people limited businesses and limited organization so i was shocked to know that we have more than 100 ngos registered for the city and i was just like what they are registering what are they doing okay please if you leave meeting by any means or anything please join again with the same link you don't need to change the link if you miss the meeting or anything you have a drop you, you drop the i mean call or anything you just join with the same link okay so i was shocked to see i was shocked to know about that that lot of organizations are working and then she told me that we got an audit survey because she was an active person so we went in the market and we saw that how many organizations are working then we found 30 ngos who were registered 
but they were not doing a specific thing either they were exploiting the human rights or they were not doing it so they then said that the, she said that we then block those those organization and now almost 70 plus organizations are working in our city and the same way we are we, we got the amount of 1 lakh 50 thousand that is a tragedy of our country that we don't focus on such a huge market such a huge market un undp who all of these ingos are working for our country we have these ngos these organizations working for our own country and we are we empower them we say that you can uh, even they are working directly with our governments with directly with the uh, departments of organizations but why we don't take our own organizations our own ngos over local ngos or national ngos in the loop this is the right time to to take these people on loop i was uh, happy to see that punjab has recently uh, passed a commission uh, now we have a punjab charity commission which will be registering all of the ngos i mean if if i am a registered ngo and i want to start an ngo or i i'm already an ngo right i work in punjab in any district in a province level or division level so i have to register myself my project first of all at punjab charity commission and then i have to move i i wish so that it will become a successful venture for the government because this is very important and there is also a negative in the market that whenever we see whenever we we get the name of ngo there is always n for negative right we get the negative vibes of the specific ngo name why is that so because there are many people there are many people who say who are saying that who are saying that the specific people are working are working negatively they are not doing a great job they are doing businesses through the name of the ngo they are doing the money laundering they are doing they are putting their black money into white through their specific ngos there are also many ngos who are working just because of saving their taxes from their own businesses so this is the right time to work for our own country so that we can so that we can develop a better environment this is the right time to work on this sector who have to work we have two options leave everything on the government right that this is their responsibility and they will do it themselves and the second option is you me and uh, 24 people in the meeting tonight today we have to start it. if we start up innamal amalu bin niyar if we start with a good will for the development of the society for the specific community development we can make a good name in this specific sector as well we can start up as a social entrepreneur we can start as a, a social venture that doesn't mean that you have to only start an ngo or non profit organization no you can start up as a social enterprise as well you can also start up as an ngo if you don't want to do anything leave it start whatever you can do from your own city from your own colony from your own mohalla from your suburbs from your family from any anywhere you can do how for example if i ask any one of members if i do have wait for a second i have to call the names uh is there can i call the names of few members for sure okay. sir okay someone is speaking i think so okay any one of you who wants to answer that how can we do this as a volunteer sir by donating blood or something else sorry i am not uh, i mean you your voice is not clear
as a local volunteer sir yes yes we can volunteer but i would suggest i would suggest instead of volunteering to specific to the agenda of another organization why not to work on your own agenda why not to work on your own venture why not to work on your own family why not to work on your own specific street for example if i go around we have a clean and green campaign if i see that i don't have that much greenery or the beautiful scenes in my street so why cannot i work on that i can start from it. that is a community development project you can plan it properly as a complete project as a complete project and that is a full fledged project you don't need to go for the billion tree tsunami right so you can start with the tree tsunami in your streets you can take your other stakeholders on board and you can work on many other things volunteering is good but ultimately volunteering will give you the opportunity I, as belonging from a volunteer youth organization i am negating the concept of getting volunteers involved but ultimately i have found a problem that many of the people in the volunteer organization are basically that much committed to the mission and vision of that specific organization tcf is having a specific mission and vision i mean the beginners or the startups or the founders of those people of those organization would know and committed to that specific idea but a volunteer who is coming today and maybe he is not coming tomorrow how is he that much committed to that specific idea so the specific thing for community development is that you have to give your 100% from the true bottom of your heart whatever you want to do start on your own just begin with whatever you can in the further slides we'll discuss how can we do that we also have less than 1 minute i think for this meeting so from the next slide we can start with the next meeting and with the same link we can join right so meanwhile please uh, do some brainstorming this brain is just for you guys so that you can brainstorm and think that how can we do this because we also have an activity in the next slides right kindly everyone join us again thank you so much